My day can vary from, from week to week, but some typical things that happen pretty regularly is, you know, I have emails to answer, phone calls to return. I have to sign paperwork for every one of our students that's taking a bar exam. Anytime they're going to law school, oftentimes I get a dean's request. For background investigations, they all have to stop here. I'm part of the executive cabinet, so I have that meeting. Dr. Galuza and I meet with President Hay every other week. Um, just to talk about campus and what kinds of things are going on. I have a student life meeting with the student life team and RA meeting. I have to work on the budget for student life and athletics. Anytime you know we need to buy something or pay referees or pay at the counselor, helping the student dances, I hold all the money for all the student dances. And then things that you never know, you never know if a student's going to stop by. The part I'm most passionate about is helping students to flourish. And I mean not just spiritually, but personally. I love working with college students because I've done it my entire adult life, but this is your time in your life where you're figuring out who you are and what's important to you. And this is where you start setting a pattern that's gonna go with you through life. For instance, if church isn't important to you while you're in school, and people say, no, no, I'll get more serious about church when I graduate, they won't because it's not part of their pattern. This is where you figure out, why do I believe what I believe? This is where you're gonna, I think this is where you're gonna have some struggles for the first time with your faith. I know in college for me, that was when I made significant steps in my relationship with the Lord. It's where I really owned it, and it's also when I really questioned it. Now my biggest frustration is, is students can't see past my title. They can't see past I'm the Dean even though I've spent most of my adult life helping young men, college students walk with the Lord. So that's why then, as the Dean, I like working through the RDs and the RAs, so that I can help equip them to be the ones to do those conversations. Like if I go sit down with a group of students in the dining hall, unless one of the RAs or something, it's kind of like, why is she sitting with us, you know? So, so you know, that makes me feel awkward also. So. I don't go do it, you know, but if a group of students invited me to come have lunch, I'd love it. <laughs> I'd want them to see us as this is the place where you come to to get help. You can come to get help academically, spiritually, socially, even emotionally. Um, that this would be, if I need help with something, oh, I need to go talk to Student Life. You know, and, and I am the student's representative at the cabinet level, at the executive table. so. You know, if there's things we want to see in the residence halls, if there's things, you know, I, I need that information. And um, because I, I represent you all at that table. I think what we can forget sometimes, because it looks like we're an established college, but we're still young and we're still, we're still deciding some of what will be some of those traditions and what will be some of those ongoing things that are a part of our community. So I, I became a Christian through Campus Crusade in high school. And so um, when I went to college, I, real, I knew I wanted to be involved in Campus Crusade. So I looked for schools that had Campus Crusade. And so I went to Ohio State. You know, I went through a rocky time my junior year um, and, uh, you know, came close to chucking it all, but couldn't get rid of the idea of once you've walked with Jesus, nothing else will really satisfy you. So I knew. I needed to let the Lord do what he was trying to do in my life. I kind of wrote in the back of my Bible, oh, I want to be a Daniel, I want to I want to be committed, I, I don't want to live a life of compromise, I want to be completely sold out. Um, so I did that and and it became pretty clear after gra when I was getting close to graduating that I wanted to go on staff with Campus Crusade because I loved sharing my faith and helping people come to see who the Lord really was.